Okay. So uh, in our previous class, what we have studied uh, is the entropy. We have studied that there are two types of entropies. One is your configurational entropy, and one is your thermal entropy. And we have related this entropy with the vibrations. Today's lecture will be uh, based upon uh, phase transitions. Phase transitions and We will discuss about first order, first order phase transition. So, I will give you an example of a first order phase transition like melting vaporization. Sublimation These are first order phase transitions and the characteristics of a first order phase transition is the derivative of free energy with respect to temperature and constant pressure or respect to pressure at constant temperature, they are discontinuous. Discontinuous. So, what actually what it means? So, basically, first we have to understand. Uh, the fact that first order phase transition may the, uh, the, the temperature and the pressure they are constant. If you keep the temperature and pressure constant, only then the phase transition that is taking place we can call it as uh, first order phase transition. Another condition is that the entropy S and the volume, they only undergo a change. Entropy and volume, they undergo a change. Or the equation to show the uh, variation, uh, this sort of first order phase transition, uh, that is called Clausius Lagrange. Process calculation. It tells that uh, dt by dt, dt by dt is equal to L uh, dt minus I initial volume minus volume. So, I have a temperature. Before, before going into uh, before coming into the experimental or the practical aspect of first order phase transition, let us discuss about some thermodynamic potentials. Uh, like we have discussed about entropy and uh, we have discussed about enthalpy. If you remember, 
H, right? Uh, there are few more thermodynamic uh, potentials. Uh, there are few more thermodynamic potentials like F. F is Helmholtz free energy. This is enthalpy. When is for color? This is M bones. M bones. Free energy. And as this G, G joint, this one, this is uh, its free energy. take a system which is uh, capable of doing some external work. You see a system which uh, external work here. So as it uh, does some external work, the energy come home, that energy is the free energy. So we can, we can call it, uh, we can uh, explain it in this fashion. How to get a new one? Oh. So, the internal energy the internal energy you just to watch First one, which is capable of doing what? Okay. Another one is not capable of the one which is not capable of doing the work. We also call this one as the uh, bound energy. Uh, could, you, could you understand what is due? 
Internal energy and what is F? It is U is U is F. F is a part of you which is capable of doing work. Now what's about deep square energy? Gibbs free energy is the energy left after doing all sorts of work. So rather the, you can see that the, the maximum uh, amount of work possible by system then the temperature and the pressure are constant. Okay. The temperature and pressure are constant and that is the maximum on the work. It's called the gives energy. Now, uh, 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 the, uh, the, same, the, the same condition is uh, applied with the T and P constant. It is also for the first order phase transition. This is the guy. First order phase transition now. Pictorially, or uh, in terms of graphically, let us try to understand what is a first order phase transition is. Now, G, G is its village per unit mass. If you divide it by uh, temperature, if you follow follows a part like this, where uh, this one this is the phase one initial phase and this is the final phase, phase F and this is the G, it follows like this if we take the derivative of this, it's kind of derivative of so it will look something like this. Take the derivative here is a step, we can take. Right. Now, G uh, is equal to H minus PS. This is the expression. So, what will be uh, del G and, and del G by del P a constant P is to be equal to what? minus will be equal to S entropy. So entropy of the system can be noted by this and so when we are taking the derivative of this the plot will look something like entropy here. Entropy will change according to Initial phase I and this is the So you can see why it is called discontinuous. Change uh, only minus one in both times. Similarly, if we uh, this H can again be expressed H as an equal to U plus H is equal to U plus P V. So in that case, uh, del G by del P 
इसका मतलब पता है ना डेल जी बाई डेल पी बाई राइटिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ ब्रैकेट चेंज इन गिफ्ट फी एनर्जी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टेम्परेचर विद प्रेशर इज कॉन्स्टेंट एंड ऑपोजिट ये क्या होगा क्या होगा ये प्लस माइनस माइनस क्या होगा पी हो सो इन दैट केस इट विल फॉलो अ लॉ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर थी दिस रिप्रेजेंट्स द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर फेस ट्रांजिशन ओ ये टी टी नहीं यू क्यू आर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू पी कर रहा हूँ 